friends. I'm from Marv here with another episode of the IT Business Podcast, the show where we try to help you run your business better, smarter, and faster. This episode, we are continuing on the journey to Orlando and IT Nation. ConnectWise is in the midst of their Pitch It program for 2023. And as per usual, I'm joined by my good friend, the man of summer, Sean Lardo, to help me get through it here. Sean, how are you? I am great, Marvin. How are you? And I'm still enjoying summer too, by the way. Uh, you should enjoy summer. I don't, you guys don't get as much of it as we do down here. Yeah, you guys get it like all year. We get it like <laughs> two months. It's like, actually, it's like, it's breakfast. It's like summer by lunch. It's winter. So yeah. Hey, you can always come down. There's plenty of room down here. It, but then it gets too freaking hot. That's the other problem. Okay, like, okay, now you can't be crying. Okay, I, I'm, I am right now. I'm totally <laughs> crying right now. <laughs> like, uh, my sweet spot is like 50, 45 degrees to seventy five degrees. I'm good in those ranges. After that, it's like a lot. You know what? Then don't come to Florida again. I will in winter. Your winter. That's one day long. So I'll be no, there it's, on it's two weeks. It's two weeks at the end of January, beginning of February. I was, I'm coming for Valentine's Day. How about that? So you'll be right you'll down. be hot for IT Nation, is what you're saying? Oh, very. Oh man, last year, even with the hurricane coming through, I was still. <laughs> I was like, get me indoors, man. I'm sweating. Uh, so yeah. All right. No, well, I. Uh, but I like it. I'm. I'm good. I like Florida. I don't want to act like I'm bad mouthing Florida because I do enjoy Florida. Well, good because why don't we go ahead and promote ConnectWise coming to Florida in November and tell everybody what this pitch it program is all about. You know what? That's a great segue. You are so good at this, Marvin. I try. Like, seriously. I, I, oh, I can tell you, I see you sweating. It's a lot of work. Um, so pitch it. Let's start with that. Pitch it is, is a pro, it is a competition. It's, it's sponsored by ConnectWise, right? It's a Shark Tank competition looking for the best of the best innovators that are going to be able to be complementary to the ecosystem, but also most importantly, able to support the mission of the MSPs and their end users, right? In the end, the goal is for us is to find these, these vendors that are going to go through an, 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 an accelerated incubator program doing a ton of hours every single week with us between workshops and also recordings and live streams of people like you. The goal is to make sure that they are committed to the program, committed to growth, committed to the industry, and also for their own selfish benefit is that they're getting these, these workshops and classes on gaps that they may have, right? While creating more brand awareness through you all. Uh, and so in the end, they're all competing for to become one of the three finalists. And this is the plug for in Florida where the three finalists will be presenting live on stage at IT Nation Connect in Orlando, Florida, November 8th. The conference is three days long, but I'm only about day one right now. Let's just focus on that. That's the pitch of competition. They will be they will competing live on stage for the grand prize of $70,000 at first, second place, 30,000. Third place, well, they did get a free booth just like the other two and they will get steak knives. So that's it. All right. I really want to see what those steak knives look like because me too. If they're from the dollar store, we'll we'll know. Well, they're not even really dollar stores anymore. Let's be honest. It just says dollar store, but they're still like eight dollars. So that's not even dollar. Oh, it's a dollar plus seven. So well, that doesn't no, that's not the that is totally misrepresentation of it. You know it. I don't know. I don't know about your dollar stores. We still have stores where things you can find dollar items in the dollar store, but it should all be a dollar. That's for another show. Okay. Fine. We are right now are trying to get all of these vendors taken care of, providing spotlights for them, all 26. So let's get to who do we have today? So actually, we have a repeat offender for Pitch It. Um, I met him last year and he came back for more. He's blooding for punishment. Um, actually became a good friend. He's from the other side of the planet altogether. Uh, it is, I think he's having his morning coffee as we're speaking. Um, he was, he was caught in traffic before he got on this to record. So that tells you exactly what time it is. Um, and, and, and I, and, and I want to say this, he's, he's in a position and you being an MSP Marvin, you'll appreciate this where, you know, we've always been trying to, to create more influence around sales enablement and getting MSPs to transition to a sales organization away from so much tech, right? Um, and and that's sort of what that's what I was focused. And he is an MSP also, by the way. Anyway, without that, with that said, I'm going to bring on my good friend Andrew Hunt from Git Cambion. What's up, Andrew? Hey Sean. Hey Sean, how are you? Hey Mark, you well? Uh, doing I'm well. Good. Doing good. 
I'm, I'm so interested I, in those steak knives. They sound really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to get $8 steak knives, not the dollar store steak knives. Well, they're from the dollar store, but they cost $8. So it's, like I said, misrepresentation. So, all right. All right. Well, I'm going to shut up now so you guys can do your job because Marv's going to kick me off anyway. But good yep. luck, Andrew. All right, Sean. We'll see you. Andrew, nice to meet you, sir. And you. And, and you. Uh, I am going to ask you to do what Sean tried to do in his mumbling, but explain who you are in your company and give us a, a great explanation. Hey, thanks, Mark. Well, just very quickly, um, you, you know, you say your show is about the IT business and about sales enablement. And, and we all know, um, you know doing sales, I've been doing it uh, as an MSP for almost 30 years, that it's a ton easier to sell something to somebody if they want to buy it. Uh, and uh, and that's the way to go. But as MSPs, we kind of struggle with that. We're really good at, you know, we're wired to see the wires. So we sit there and we see things that are broken or the old bottle, we can't grade those. But our customers, they don't care about that. Our customers are changing and they want us to help them do their business better. And if we can find out what that is and orient our solutions towards them, we'll be more successful. What Get Cambium does is it is a tool to give the MSPs the framework to have that conversation repeatedly and scalably across all of their sales team. Uh, we're all about helping our, our subscribers to win more business and sell more to existing customers because their customers are buying something that they need. All right, so Get Cambian is the name. Now, it sounds like you've got a lot of different things that you're trying to help us do. But first, let me ask you, is this something that we sign up for as a service or is this coaching or is this modules to go through? What exactly are we getting? Yeah, great question. It's a portal, so it's a service. And what happens is the MSP goes out, the salesperson goes out to see an existing client or a new prospect. And they log into our portal, which is a subscription portal, and that takes them through a workshop with the customer, strategic workshop, the kind of stuff that MSPs actually think they do, but they don't. They don't you know, a lot of MSPs struggle with strategy. They sort of do it tactically. We help them do strategy with, with their customers to find out what the customers need. And then uh, we, we wrap that up into a QBR process with the emphasis on the B. We put the B back into the QBR and make it about business, not a tech overview. So it's something your customers really value, and they kind of see the MSP as a result of that as a much more structured and professional partner rather than as a bunch of technicians. All right. And I see that there are modules that we can do, anything from a discover module to client engagement. But one of the things I wanted to ask about was this manage module, because it seems to focus on helping us uh, get our clients focused on that MRR. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, it's all about MRR because, you know, we're in this new subscription model. You know, what? I was listening to Jay McBain from Canalis speaking to the uh, Pitcher program a couple of weeks back. And he said to that group, 76% of CEOs think the current business model will be unrecognizable in five years. I think he was quoting an Accenture report. But I thought that was really interesting. The other thing he said that really caught my attention was that 75% of IT today isn't bought by traditional IT buyers. It's actually bought by someone like the chief marketing officer, the chief HR officer, it's bought by a business leader. So our customers are buying more tech than ever, but they're not buying it the traditional way. They're buying tech to get their business done. And if we are the trusted IT partner to our customer, then we've got to understand that and we've got to help them make sure that that is secure and reliable. So our customers need us more than ever. Their business models are changing. Our business models should be changing with them. And the services that we need to deliver over the next five years will be fundamentally different to what they were um, uh, five years ago. Um, so definitely subscription model is what we should all be doing. Well, definitely. And helping our clients uh, throughout the entire process, because a lot of us, let's, you know, let's be, you know, honest here, you know, we'll do the sales, we'll do the initial stuff, but then we don't do the maintenance to keep them. And one of your models focuses particularly on customer retention. R correct. That's right. I think one of the things that we do is, is the customer calls an MSP because they've got a problem. You know, they change MSP because something's broken, it's stopped working, there's something that needs to be fixed. And, and so we tend to see ourselves doing technical solutions. But our customers aren't technical buyers, they're business buyers. And if you want to keep having an ongoing relationship with the customer's CEO or the senior leadership team, you've got to talk to them about the stuff they care about. So Get Cambian helps a technical MSP, someone who is, you know, te technically minded, who is focused on software upgrades and the age of devices and SLAs and tickets, we help to reorient that conversation back to the customer's business through a QBR that is business related and comes back to the client's roadmap. Very, very much having a business conversation with the customer to find out what they need to do. And we make that easy for MSPs because it's not something MSPs naturally do.
All right. Now you mentioned that this is a portal and you, you know, a part of a service subscription to this. Now, are the are the MSPs able to keep this kind of like as a working CRM so we can, you know, keep our prospects in there, keep our clients in there. We have all their information. Uh, how does that exactly work in the portal? Perfect question. Uh, actually, it augments a CRM. We know, uh, and anyone listening in who runs a sales team knows that salespeople are a bit average at putting stuff into the CRM system, and there's a bunch of tools to try to make that easy. Right. Um, this makes it really easy to load the CRM, and the CRM we work with is actually the ConnectWise Managed CRM. We are ConnectWise certified, uh, event certified, and we support the ConnectWise CRM by allowing an MSP to have the conversation with their customer and then at the press of a button to turn that into opportunities in the ConnectWise CRM, and then from there, turn it into quotes through CPQ and turn it into work through ConnectWise projects, tickets, and activities. Very nice. Very nice. Now, where did you come along in this process? So we've been running our MSP um, since the, the uh, mid '90s, so I say thirty years of practice. Um, I've still got my hair, and it's my own hair too, I have to say. <laughs> but uh, probably uh, it's going a bit bit grey, and uh, that's the result of trying to run an MSP for that length of time and transition the changes we're going through. And about I don't know, fifteen years ago, we had a client come to us and say, "I don't know what the heck you guys do. Why am I paying you all this money?" At the same time, we had another client that said, you know, one of, my, one of my team just left the office and they stole all my data as they left the office and went to a competitor. Why why'd you let them do that? And I sat there thinking, oh, those are good questions. It's up to us as the MSP to think about how we could go about making sure we know what our customers need. We should ask them before these events occur. And so we built a tool for our own MSP and we're sitting around a ConnectWise Evolve meeting. So those who are on this podcast are part of Evolve. It's a fantastic program. Those who aren't, you should get into it. It's absolutely brilliant. We're in an Evolve meeting with a bunch of MSP peers and they said to us, that's fantastic. Can you share it with us? And um, we thought, heck, that's a bit of work. But then COVID came along and so we had time to turn it into a portal and package up our IP and our, um, as I say, almost 30 years of knowledge uh, put our content in there into a portal. And because we've done it that way, we've also meant that you can onboard really super fast. There's there's very little onboarding effort to do because all of our knowledge and IP is in the tool. You can just sign up and start using it tomorrow. We've got a customer in Florida, not far from you, who we met two weeks ago in Denver. They signed up and were using it um, in anger with a customer within a week, which is, uh, I think, fantastic. All right. Well, that sounds actually fantastic. So, I was just going to ask you, I saw that you were in Denver two weeks ago for the Pat Tate Beyond event. So you actually picked up a client there here in Florida, and they're onboarded and up and running in less than two weeks. Absolutely correct. Yep. Yeah. In less than two weeks. Because, um, I mean, simple things, we should keep them simple. Don't make things too hard. You know, what we try to do is make it easy for an MSP to have a conversation with a customer about the stuff the customer cares about, which is their business and their goals. And that's something, as I say, as MSPs, we struggle with, so we make it easy. All right. So get Cambium. Uh, sounds like a very powerful tool to help us deliver uh, a much-needed, improved process uh, for our clients and helping us drive sales growth. Uh, now, can you say that this tool might help us be that virtual CIO for our clients? Oh my gosh, what a great question. What's a CIO? You know, if you talk to different MSPs, they have a different definition of that. And yeah. in many cases, it's really just simply a CSM or a, um, you know, some kind of a cut manager on steroids. But if you go and break down what a CIO does, you know, a real CIO does and look at their job description, it's got none of that. CIO sits there and they monitor all of their customers' IT. And if you go and ask us what their IT is, which is how we start our process, you'll find out it's not what an MSP thinks. An MSP tends to think of IT as being endpoints, servers in the cloud, connectivity, maybe some voice and phone systems. But your customer thinks of IT as being the line of business, their CRM, the data analytics, some of their online marketing tools, um, their IT team that they've got internally, a whole bunch of stuff. And what we try to do is expand that conversation so the MSP understands the customer's full um, full IT gambit. And so a CIO is working across all of that, helping a customer to, I don't know, uh, find a new CRM, hold the HRIS system to account, make sure that the uh, uh, project benefits they expected from a, a new, I don't know, CRM or finance deployment is actually being achieved. Make sure the licensing is right. Make sure the risks are being managed. Make sure that the governance and processes around IT all of their IT are in place. 
change management, all of these things need to be done. And uh, you know, if a CIO should be doing those, again, get Cambium as a tool to help the MSP transition into that. Because if you think about it, the customer's IT has gone to the cloud. The old servers are long gone, but the customer has got more IT than ever before. They And they're still not an IT expert. We're the IT experts. They need us more than they've ever needed us today. The opportunity, if we're having business conversations, is beyond enormous. It's mm. massive. It is. It is. I'm glad I asked that question. So <laughs> I got a little bit more out of there and certainly – uh, lends to the fact that Git Cambium is something we all need to look at. So, uh, Andrew, thank you for spending this time with us. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we'll look forward to seeing you in Orlando at IT Nation uh, this November. And uh, that's going to do it, folks, here for another vendor spotlight for the channel. Um, oh, I just went blank. ConnectWise <laughs> Pitch It program. And on behalf of my good friend, Sean Lardo, I'm going to say thank you. Uh, Andrew Hunt with Get Cambium. That'll do it, folks. And uh, we'll be back soon with another spotlight. And until then, holla. 